Hello YouTube, this is Joey with We Are The Resistance. I wanted to come at y'all today, bring up a couple of things in, uh, going on in the news, and then probably uh, talk a little bit about uh, a MAG uh, situation that, that may occur, and uh, we'll just jump right on into it. Uh, first thing I want to bring up, you got old Mr. Biden, he's a hiding claims to have gotten a second case of COVID again and uh, he's you know, this, this guy he's on he's on more drugs than Hunter Biden is you'd think he'd be immune from that stuff but you know then again <laughs> does that really work who knows I don't think it does and you got uh you got Nancy Pelosi she's traveling the world seeing the sights enjoying the rides all that stuff like that and, uh, probably possibly kicking off uh, World War Three here. She gets over and lands off into Taiwan and ticks off the Chinese. We may have a situation on our hands. Now, I, I don't know what's what's up with this, but, you know, she, to me, what she's doing, she's doing a job that's not even her job. I mean, to my knowledge, I thought that was Secretary of State's job. Uh, that should be Anthony Blinken out there doing all that. I mean, I, I thought that's what that role was for, uh, you know. I here recently, you know, they passed that bill on chip manufacturing about trying to get that increased. And her husband's supposed to be a uh, stock market guru. You know, he knows exactly when to hold them and knows when to fold them. You know, Nancy getting over again, or she gonna maybe? have a little conversation with some of these chip manufacturers trying to come on over here to the United States. We can set you up real nice. Yes, sir. We can do it up for you and you don't have to worry about China no more. Ah, uh, uh, you know, that's just my my two cents worth. And what do I know? And uh, you got uh, U.S. forces are supposed to have killed the uh, Al-Qaeda leader I'm not even going to try to say his name. I didn't even bother writing that because I know that I wasn't going to get it, get it right. But he's supposed to have been the, uh, the, the forefigure of Al-Qaeda. Pretty much, I think, ever since Bin Laden was was running the show with that. And uh, I also think, I think he was also uh, Bin Laden's uh, personal physician. But he did. He gone. And I guess Biden's going to come out of his little turtle shell tonight and announce that. Give himself a pat on the back for uh, personally taking him out. Yeah, he, you know, y'all know he's a trigger man. Y'all know that, don't you? Y'all have to look over. I got my dog out here with me tonight. He's a uh, he's running around getting some fresh air. Uh, he shakes the deck a little bit when he gets a little rambunctious. But and uh, another thing, you got uh, polio is is showing up in the wastewater system up in New York. Uh, you know, that, that was something that's pretty well eradicated there at one time, you know, in this country anyway. Uh, I don't know if it was worldwide or not, but I know it was in this country. And, you know, you get people coming from all over places, and they're undocumented, unchecked, and, uh, you know, they're unleashed into this land and do what they want, where they want, when they want. Anyway, uh, we, we got some of this stuff coming back. Lord help, hope we can get it stopped. You know, Maybe we, something like this can be taken care of. We won't ever have to worry about it. Anyway, and uh, I want to bring up something, too. Uh, somebody had made a comment to me the other day, personally. Uh, they said they have been seeing a couple of videos, and uh, they noticed my face looked a little odd-like and everything. And, uh, and, 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 yeah, it does. And the reason it is that is because uh, I'm a cancer survivor. I had cancer on the inside of my uh, right side nostril. They had to open all that up, take it all out, and uh, put it back all together. Anyway, that's how why it's like that. And I know I got a little snarl, kind of talked through my nose a little bit, but you know it is what it is. Don't bother me none. I hope it don't bother y'all. And uh, and all that being said and everything, I'm gonna jump on over into the other thing I want to bring up is mag situation that I've been kind of pondering on. You know, all mags need to have a security team of some sorts, and that that security team, they they 
I feel like they need to be on the same train of thought when it comes to dealing with an intruder. And uh, the way we have ours set up is basically a group of five that they alternate guard duty and stuff like that and, and patrolling and everything. And I mean, that's, that's how it's set up. Well, we don't do that now. I mean, we're not in SHTF. But that, that's just something that we're set up on, on how we're going to do it. And I, I think everybody on these teams needs to have the same mindset. You know, say, for example, you've got somebody that's come up to your main area of entrance. And you see that they don't appear to be armed. They don't appear to be a threat. They just might, you know, look like they might be trying to hunt something to eat, something to drink, you know, maybe a little medical. You, you may have some people say, oh, you need to take them people out. You need to deal with them. You can't let them come up. Then you got some people says, well, I mean, we give them a little bit of food and everything. We'll send them on the way. You know, and, and I'm awful with that. You, you know, you just can't be mowing down anybody that comes along your path but, you know the, the, the hopefully the end goal is to restore society as it needs to be not the way it used to be but the way it should be uh, and for that to be accomplished you know your mag groups are going to need to be civilized acting toward strangers that approach them now you may have somebody come down. He may have. He may be strapped. You know, he may have two, have a sidearm. May have a, a main weapon. Uh, he may have a pack on his back, and he's all on his own. He looks like he's doing good. I mean, first thing, you know, you're gonna stop this fellow from coming in, and you're gonna want to come up to this guy, force with force, not not as far as, you know popping off a few rounds or this or that or whatever but you know you you go up to him weapons drawn and he is to be immediately disarmed that's that's the main goal right there you disarm this fellow and you know everybody should have a plan of action on how to go about doing that uh, that's something that needs to be practiced and learned and everybody needs to know what the roles are in this situation just so somebody don't get hurt, possibly killed. And, you know, once you disarm this fella and, you know, find out what his story is, what's going on, you know, see if you believe him or not, you know, try to get as much intel from him as you can. You know, if you bring him into your camp, bring him in blindfolded. Don't let him see nothing you got. You know, keep him blindfolded. Don't. Do not give him no chance of accessing his weapons. Do not give him no visual record of what he can see, what's going on. And you, you search this guy thoroughly before you bring him into your, to your area. Uh, you know, you, you may need to interrogate this guy, you know, kind of extensively. It just depends on how much he wants to talk, you know. Food goes a long way in situations like that. You know, if the guy's hungry, you know, you want some information, you talk to him about it. And, you know, you say, hey, you know, we, we've got something we can give you here. We've got something to eat we can give you. You know, you tell us some stuff and, and we'll feed you. Now, once he does what he does, once he does, once he gives you information, you need to follow through with what you said you was going to do so you can build this trust up. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's just another scenario that could happen. Uh, you could have small kids come to you, you know, what, what are you going to do with that? I mean, you, you can't just turn away small kids. I mean, they're going to need to be fed. They're going to be taken care of. I mean, you can't let them go back out into the wild like that. You shouldn't. I, 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 I wouldn't anyway. I mean, I, I don't think that's something, you know, that's very uh, civilized. Uh, you know, the children are the ones that we're, we're hopefully doing everything for and straightening the world out for them. Uh, you start getting up into my age range, you know, your life's pretty well 
live for a while. I mean, I hope I hope I still have plenty of years left, but you know, it is what it is. You know, everybody's getting closer every day to that end. Uh, I'm just a little further along than a lot of them are. Uh, you know, I ain't that far along. I'm only in my mid fifties, but anyhow, you know. You, you may have a, a group of people come down there. They may be able to outnumber your men. Uh, there may be a time that you do have to use force as far as uh, maximum force, uh, so to speak. Uh, you, you know, you may need to disarm these people really quick and they go to returning maximum force on you. And, you know, it, you can wind up having a firefight. But, you know, hopefully your your forward security members have warned you prior to these people coming. Uh, say, you know, security is probably not the biggest deal coming to a mag, but it is probably in the top, I'd say top three. Uh, so if you, if you have a mag, it's, it's large enough. Have your security team set up. You know, get up, get working with them on what your goals should be and how you want them to be. You, you don't really want them, you know, come in guns ablaze and nothing like that. You want them all to be on the same train of thought and probably have your most cool, calm, collective person leading up the security team and uh, let let them take care of it and. How you know the mag leader, whoever your mag leader is, uh, and the security leader, they they need to be working together on what what the goals are. Uh, you may you may have somebody come up in your group that has uh, extensive medical training. I know as far as I'm concerned, in our group that would be great. Uh, we're severely lacking in medical training. Uh, I mean, we're so severely lacking in it, uh, I can pretty much say we have nobody that's medically trained other than some CNA training, but that's not going to get you far at all. Uh, you know, and like I can say, make sure your security is up to snuff. Uh, your, your team will only go as far as, as you'll let them go. And what I mean by that is you may have to pull the reins back, you know, on them sometimes. You know, you may have to be the one to step in and say, hey, you know, this this needs to be calmed down, you know. You kind of ease the situation down a little bit, a couple notches, you know, turn the volume down on it. And like I say, if, if you're a mag leader, that, that's going to be your... Uh, one of your goals. I mean, and being a mag leader is not an easy task. Uh, if you if you really look at it, you know, everybody thinks, you know, I, I've got food piled up, I've got beans, I've got band-aids, I've got bullets, you know, all the, all the cliches that there is in prepping. But when you're dealing with a team of people, that team needs to be together as a team, not no individual units, not no you know, somebody says, well, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that, and we need to be done like this. No, you need to nip that in the bud immediately. Uh, you may wind up upsetting some people, but the end goal is to come out the other end of this thing alive, and your whole mag be right with you. Uh, you don't want to lose a mag member in the middle of SHTF. I mean, that's, that's just a terrible thing to have to go through right you know, it, that's like, like you know, it's, you're losing a family member basically, and you need to look at your mag as your family. If if you don't, if you're not doing that, maybe you need to kind of reevaluate the mag a little bit because y'all all gonna be living together as a family. You can't get along with them. You need to find a way to get along with them. If that if that doesn't work, then maybe something else needs to be done for that particular situation. Uh, anyway, that, that's all I want to say this evening. Uh, I guess, you know, to 
sum up everything. Uh, if you got a security team, start working with them, find out what the mindsets are of them, and see how well it goes along with your mindset. Uh, if you're the mag leader, uh, if you're not the mag leader, uh, you know, talk to them about it. You know, if you're on the security team, talk to your mag leader about it. Talk to your other security team members about it. Uh, see, see how things are going to be handled. Hopefully, everybody already has this plan in place. But if they don't, I know we've got a little working to do on ours uh, as far as uh, scenarios go, which is something that we're going to start doing again here pretty soon uh, once the weather wants to cooperate with us. You know, we're here in North Carolina. We got this bipolar weather. You know, it goes from one minute to the next, from nice and pretty to angry and raining. But anyway, that goes without saying. So y'all have a good evening. Hope your week works good. Hope everything comes out fine for you. Stay low. Stay ready. And if you're hearing this, you're part of the resistance.